you know, it's like everything. People should have been lowering their their costs in the last two years. The British government, you know, um, Gordon Brown, the genius of the Exchequer, you know, should he ha should he have arrived with more money in the bank today than he had? I think he should have done. You know, um, Formula One teams, the guys that have money in the bank have the better sponsor contracts, have the better sponsors are going to survive, and and the guys that that haven't got the better business plan fall out and that's just that's the way it is they'll spend as much money as they can get if they don't spend it on on uh, the engine or 500 800 employees they'll give the driver whatever it takes to get the best driver because whatever money they've got they'll spend it to win races that's just that's just the nature of the beast it's the nature of sport uh, if you don't spend the right amount of money you won't win the championship you can do it occasionally um, you know, if you've got the best driver and the team's operating really efficiently, you can do it. But generally, over a period of time, money talks. Um, so, a few teams might disappear. You know, if I was Renault, I wouldn't be very happy spending the money I'm spending in Formula One. Whenever, no one really cares. You know, because you don't buy a Renault because it won Formula One races. Um, so, um, you'd have to say some of these manufacturers, really, they're... they're um, they got to ask the question, why are they spending so much money in Formula 1 whenever they're laying off people left, right and centre? And probably it's going to be years before we're consuming the same amount of cars as we've been consuming the last three, four years.